Hey, what's going on, everyone? Matthew here. Um, right now, it's uh, two eighteen p.m. Eastern Daylight Time from where I live in like um, the southeastern part of Massachusetts. Um, so, any moment now, uh, the second national um, emergency alert system test will be commencing at around two twenty p.m. Eastern Time. So, right now, um. There are a couple ways in which, you know, I'm trying to listen out for it. Um, right here on my iPad, I'm, um, it's a little bit, um, hard to focus here. Um, anyway, um, I'm trying to listen out for, um, the test on, um, my iDials radio up here. I'm listening to, uh, trying to hear out the radio station such as, like, um, Easy 99.1 WPLM FM. If that doesn't work, I'm going to try like um, WBZ News Radio 1030 to hear it, hear it for it. And I'm also going to try out um, 98.5 FM, the Sports Hub. As you might be able to hear from here, at Hartford, cloudy and 61. I'm also going to try listening out for it. N66. On my um, Eton FR370 radio, and um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I also my, have my um, television um, turned on, and um, I have it tuned into like a channel nine, 995 EAS, the emergency alert system channel that I got from like uh, Comcast. So, oh, here it is. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for southeast Massachusetts, Cape Cod, and the islands, including Fall River, New Bedford, Plymouth, and Taunton, issued at 1.21 p.m. Wednesday, September 28th. This afternoon, cloudy with patchy drizzle, patchy fog, near steady temperature around 60. Northeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. This is a national test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Broadcast and cable operators in your area have developed this system in voluntary cooperation with FEMA, the FCC, and local authorities to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this national test of the emergency alert system. So that's pretty much it. Um, there you have it. The second national um, emergency alert system test on Wednesday, September 28th, 2016. Oh, look at that. It's actually appearing on like um, 98.5, the Sports Hub uh, radio here on uh, my iPad Air 2. So let's listen up for that. This is a national test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Broadcast and cable operators in your area have developed this system in voluntary cooperation with FEMA, the FCC, and local authorities to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this national test of the emergency alert system. Sunday will do anything to build Price's confidence. But maybe Farrell is trying to do that. I have no idea. Let's try okay. out a couple other stations, see if they follow. The this is WBZ News Radio, 1030 AM. Huh, there it is. This is a national test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test.
broadcast and cable operators in your area have developed this system in voluntary cooperation with FEMA, the FCC, and local authorities to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this national test of the emergency alert system. And there it is. You just heard the National Emergency Alert System test, which is periodically required by the FCC and FEMA. We resume our regular programming now. WBZ News Time is 2.22. Uh, let's try Easy 99.1 WPLM-FM. Just ignore that. Point of network connectivity. A little-known fact is that um, the first time that the National EAS test was uh, commenced, um, there were like uh, some issues concerning like um, overlapping uh, audio signals. Like um, the test tone would like um, be conducted like uh, several times over and over and over again, and um, a lot of voices would uh, overlap each other, or something like that. Uh, you might have to study it out for yourself um, when you get the chance after you see this video. So, just uh, look up online for um, the first national EAS test. Um, what went on with it? What went wrong with it? And um, that's pretty much it. So, that's it, folks. That's um, that was the second national EAS test that was conducted today. To this day, on this day, Wednesday, September 28, 2016, 2.20 a.m. Eastern Time. So, thanks, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, click the like button and let me know what your thoughts are about this in the comments. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day, and I'll see you all next time.